If you are removing and replacing existing plastic fascia and soffit, then pricing it up is easy when you have this module. We do have another module that works in the same way, but is specifically designed for pricing the removal and replacement of existing wood fascia and soffit. I will show you this toward the end of the movie. To start, I will enter the length that is to be done. This is 11 linear metres. By entering this one number, the programme has performed many calculations, and the pricing sheet now contains a lot of information. So let's take a closer look at what's been allowed. The programme has calculated that the removal of the existing will take 2.2 hours. The buttons for the soffit have been calculated. These aren't always needed. I won't be using them, so I just simply untick the box and the costs for this are removed. You can see that for the soffit and the fascia, 12 metres have been allowed. Even though we are doing 11 metres, the programme has included the 6% wastage, and so it has been rounded up to the nearest metre. The wastage is set here in the yellow box at the top of the pricing sheet. If you wanted to change this figure to a different percentage, you would just put in the percentage of your choice here in the yellow box. The sprocket board has been calculated. If I tick on the red question mark, a diagram shows the dimensions of this. You can change these measurements in the picture if required. Or, if you will not be using sprocket board, you can just untick it and it will be removed from the costings. I will be using it, so I'll re-tick the box and the costs return to the pricing sheet. All of the fixings and waste disposal have been calculated. For the waste disposal, a one yard bag has been allowed. This is right for me, but you could change it if you wanted something different. By using the drop down menu or by clicking on the red question mark. The totals for this job are shown here at the bottom. There is a breakdown of the materials, hours, labour and the overall total. As you've seen, using this module to create accurate costings that meet your exact requirements is easy. I've now brought in the fascia and soffit remove and replace existing wood that I mentioned at the start of this movie. This module works in exactly the same way as the plastic fascia and soffit version. To begin my pricing, I need to tell the program the length of the wooden fascia and soffit I will be removing, then replacing. So I enter 11 here in the red cell at the top of the sheet. Like the plastic module, the pricing sheet now contains a lot of information that you can of course alter to meet your requirements. Having both of these modules allows you to not only price for the two different materials quickly and easily, but enables you to compare the costings. As you can see, I have entered the same length of 11 linear metres in both the plastic and wood modules. I did not allow for the battens in the plastic soffit and fascia module, so I'll also remove these from this wood module by unticking the box. Here we can see that in this wood module, decoration for the fascia and soffit has been allowed. I will just untick these decorating boxes to get a like-for-like -like comparison, as the plastic fascia and soffit does not require decoration. If I now look at the totals for the fascia and soffit remove and replace existing wood module, I can see that with the pricing sheet set in this way, compared to the totals on the plastic fascia and soffit module, using timber seems to be the most cost effective. However, my client will require me to do a complete job and will want the timber fascia and soffit to be decorated. So, I will now tick the primer, undercoat and gloss options. If we now compare the totals for the job, I can see that the timber option is more expensive and the plastic option, which requires no decoration for the job to be complete, is the more economical choice. These modules not only enable you to quickly and effectively price your removal and replacement of existing soffit and fascia in timber or plastic jobs, but by having them open simultaneously, you can analyse and compare the costs of the two different material types on a line-by-line -line basis, or by looking at the overall totals along the bottom.